Hey people, it's me again, Sean, and welcome to chapter 2 of The Prodigal Soul. So I was going to play Golden Light again today, but I don't want to keep uploading the same content, you know, so I thought I'd try something a little bit different. First of all, a quick hello to the new subscribers. Thank you for becoming a part of this channel. You know, I'm happy that people are showing an interest in my videos, so that's very much appreciated. Once again, thank you. So again, today we're playing The Prodigal Soul. This is chapter 2. The first chapter ended in, I think it was a little bit of a chase from one of the weird floating creatures that keep jump scaring the crap out of me. Yeah, I managed to pick up a weapon and get away with it. We haven't tried the weapon yet, so it'd be interesting to see, you know, how it's going to affect the game. So it's a bit of a strange one, this game. Didn't really understand the translation at the start. Find the key. But yeah, our protagonist is a bad person. Oh shit, I wonder what that was standing in the elevator. Not sure if you caught that, but that's one of the things that's been chasing me through the game. Scares the crap out of me every time it appears. I think we're meant to be in a coma. So this is all the big dream. What's this? Need to turn on electricity. Looks like somebody's been dragged into there. Okay then, let's turn on the electricity. Is this it? Generator. Find fuse. Is that a fuse? No, it fucking isn't. Did I look around in here properly? I don't think I even looked in here at all, did I? Can I look in these lockers? I can. And they're all fucking empty anyway. Oh, I'm not checking all them lockers. Screw that. What's that? Please tell me that's a fuse. It looked like a fuse, didn't it? Let's go try. I really should look around more on these games. So where was the fuse for? It had to go in here, didn't it? Uh, was it there? Okay, the fuse is in. Is that... Is the power on then? The power's on. Let's go. Can we crouch? Yeah, we can crouch. Go in here. No. Ah, there we go. Just had to press F to open the door. Can you let me in, please? Finally, we're in. Yeah, somebody got messed up in here. Go upwards and onwards. Really want to try the weapon. What's that interference? Sounds like it's coming from straight forward. Let's try this way first. I still have to find a key for the route below. I assume I've got to find that and then go back down. Well, let's see what this is, making me ear itch. Oh shit! Yeah, that scared the fucking soul out of me. Jesus Christ. Sue, little girl, eight years old. Her parents died in a plane crash when they were told to visit her grandmother. Sue was taken into the family several times, but returned a month later because they could not cope with her because of her mental disorder, which she received after the death of her parents. But inside her soul, she didn't want to believe it. She saw her mother in the teacher of the orphanage and in the children of her brothers and sisters. When Scott came to the orphanage, she decided that her father, Sue, had come for her and began to give him his toy so that Scott could take the girl from there but it was all in vain yeah I mean it's really hard to understand the translation there we need to get rid of this crackly radio really irritating not sure where it's supposed to be though Let's just get out of the room away from it all that's what try this one here we go. 
What the fuck? What is that? Find three notes. What the fuck happened there? Yeah, that was strange. This game is random as fuck. Random is good though. Yeah, it's getting a bit messed up. Scott, hold on, don't leave me. Yeah, that's creepy. It sounds like it's behind me all the time. It's like I'm being mocked from behind. Let's turn the torch off, we don't need that in here. It's all nicely lit. Is that a key? What was that? Oh, fuck. Can we get under this? No, we can't go that way then. So the machine you can hear in the background is probably in the hospital where I'm supposed to be in a coma. And now it's gone off. Go in here. Yeah, a lot of knocking and banging in this game, by the way. Not surprised by it anymore. Nothing in here. No snacks. Blood up the walls, though. That's not good news, is it? Can we get out? Oh, shit, the door's locked. What's happening? Hello? Somebody let me out? Any kind soul out there want to open the door for me? Thanks! See, that's what happens when you're polite, you know? Works every time. Where's that? This one here? I thought that was a phone. I think it is a phone, but I can't pick it up. It's just ringing. Let's see what's on the menu. Apple pie. 5.50? Robbing bastards. Oh, it's a note. Scott rejected Sue, tore and tossed the toy. From now on, the little girl's heart broke completely. Sue stopped talking and eating. Soon, the orphans had to leave the only roof over their heads. Volunteers took all the kids to themselves. No one wanted to shelter Sue. Yeah, so I think, for some reason, Scott took over the orphanage, or the grounds where the orphanage was sitting, and closed the orphanage down. Maybe. Maybe I'm completely wrong. Sue was one of the orphans there. And Scott had no sympathy for any of them. Scott is our character here, by the way. The one who's in the coma. What have we got here? Another note. Did say find three notes, I think. For oh, fuck's sake. There's no need for that shit. I don't think there's anything down there. I think we can just get around this, even though it's just forward and tried to block the way. Probably could have jumped over it either way. Yeah, we're not getting past that way, so this better be open. It is indeed. Got the torch on. Always have to press the torch twice. Is that the third one? It is. Oh, fuck. Thanks. I'm not sure if that was more ammo. I think I just picked more ammo up. Who's breathing? Yeah, this is getting mental. I mean, I found all the notes, so what now? Oh, fuck. Yeah, what's happening? Can we zoom the camera back out, please? That's confusing as shit. Let's open this. What is happening? Ah, oh, that's better. Wow. That messes with your eyes a little bit. Let's get back out. No, we can't get out. It's done the same again. Somebody opened it for me. Yeah, this is crazy. I like it. Let's just run, see what happens. Heavy breathing is fucking freaky. This is definitely an intense environment at the moment.
I don't think we're waking up from this coma anytime soon. Where are we now? I kind of like this place. Best part of the game so far. Oh, here we go again with these things. Done this time though. Here another one though somewhere. Yeah, you get down, boy. Yeah, let's run. Don't like them sounds. Are we in hell? This feels like fucking hell. Let's go to where the blood trail's going, eh? We ain't getting back out there. That breathing is getting a little annoying. There's a key. Took a long time to get that key. I hope it's for the the room below in the elevator. Whoa, that's not how you open drawers. What the fuck? Yeah, that's crazy. I think we've completely lost here. Hello, Mr. Lobster. Any idea where I'm going, mate? No. Okay, bye. I'm completely lost. Well, the drawer open, but there's nothing in it. Open that one. Ah! That's all I had to do. Open the drawer. Are you kidding me? Open your bitch. I don't want to open that one, I want to open this one. Do you know what? I think I got a note on this saying there was a bug. As you all saw there, I shot the padlock off the, the drawer but it wasn't going to open for me. I do remember the developer saying something about, you know, there being a bug at the end of one of the chapters. He said you could just skip to the next chapter, you won't miss much. So here I am, now we're on chapter 3, I've just turned around, there was a key here so I've picked it up. Yeah that's not, I mean that's not great for the game is it really, you know, when you can't progress on your own. I wonder why there was a list of the chapters in the menu of the game but, you know, I'll keep trying with this one. We'll keep going, just for the scares, which are pretty good, you know they are making up for it at the moment. Yeah, I love how some of these drawers open, by the way. <coughs> we can't go any further. We need to investigate what the bang was. <laughs> Look at this shit. The fucking wind up with these drawers. <laughs> Where are we going? I mean, I did find a key already. Oh, so now the door's open. Really? This game messing with me? Okay. We don't need that door there, really, do we? Another note. The only native person for Scott, his brother James, had a disease on their father's side which killed him. Scott was very puzzled. He was afraid that she would kill James if he started to progress. Whatever happens, he hires his best doctors from around the world. Closes the best clinic only for his brother. But the head doctor immediately told him that he could not give accurate predictions whether James would survive or die. The disease was very serious and it was extremely difficult to treat it, despite all the conditions that created Scott. Yeah, it's very hard to understand. These spikes look nasty, let's leg it. Oh, we got squashed by them. Poor crying. Ah. 
please open. Don't mess with me. I hate turning backwards. Oh, empty key up. Maybe it's for this door. Yeah, it was. Oh, this is a long ass corridor. Needs a bit of a clean up in here. Candles. Awful lot of candles. There's that teddy bear again. And he's got a teddy bear friend there as well. Not sure where my weapon is. I think it's because it started from chapter 3. Yeah, teddy bears all over the show. Oh, fuck. Find the runes. Really be doing that again? We've got to find runes again. Just like in the first chapter. Let's go have a look. Uh, let's try this one first. Not sure where the runes are going to be this time. They were on rocks before. I got a weapon. Nice. Yeah, I think the runes might be downstairs. Come up here just for the weapon, maybe. We haven't found a single rune yet. I've checked most of the building. Not a good fucking sign. Uh oh. What was that? Oh shit. There you go, sit down, bitch. Oh shit, another one. Any more? Can't see any more. Still have to find these runes. Oh fuck! I'm dead. Damn it! Oh shit, have they come to life? No? Yeah, I knew some had come to life. They're bugged out up here. A lot of bugs in this game, if I'm honest. There's another one bugged out, Luke. Just kissing the wall. Now he's kissing bullets. He didn't want to die. See what's in this one here. Here we go, another one of these things. There's one. Nice. Two to go. So now I know what they look like. Get some more ammo. Yeah, so look for little green lights. And we will find the runes. So now we need to go check everywhere again. See if we can... Pretty sure I've already been in this one. And put him down. Not sure. Obviously not, or else I wouldn't have found that. That's two down. One to go. Check down here for one. Bet the rest of these little fuckers have come to life now, haven't they? Ready to ruin it because I've got two of them. Yes, baby, there it is. Three out of three. What now? What am I shooting at? Is this supposed to be happening? Yeah, I think that was supposed to be happening. This is an awfully strange game. Scott, I know you are strong. Be patient and do not die. <laughs> That's somebody called James talking to Scott while he's in the coma. Yeah, I think I'll leave this one here for now. That was chapters 2 and 3. I'm enjoying this one so far, apart from the odd few bugs, you know. Yeah, it's happened with a good couple of jump scares. Let me know what you think of this game so far down in the comments below. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. By the way, I hope you're all staying safe out there, you know. 
look out for one another as well as yourself with what's going on in the world today. Be careful, and I'll see you all in the next one.